Welcome to Computer Science Connections, Modeling Animal Adaptations. This module makes connections between science and computer science. Specifically, it can introduce, reinforce, or extend any student learning related to animal adaptation. If you're teaching about behavior, cause and effect, or just want to get your students coding, you've come to the right place. In this module, students will use SpriteLab, a block-based programming platform, to code an event-based cause and effect model to demonstrate how species survive by adapting to their environment over time. The main computer science concepts in this module are sprites, events, and behaviors. A sprite is something you interact with, like a character or an object in a scene. Each sprite can have different properties, like its costume, size, and location. In coding, there are cause and effect relationships we trigger with events. An event is an action that tells a specific chunk of code to run. Events allow us to change our programs in real time. For example, by assigning a spin right behavior with a mouse click event, we can command this hamburger to spin to the right when it is clicked. Behaviors are actions that happen over and over while the program runs. Students will use behaviors in computer science to represent animal survival behaviors. They will give their sprites a set of instructions to execute over and over like an animation. There are three lessons in this module. In lesson one, students explore examples of evolution, adaptation, migration, natural selection, and survival in groups. In lesson two, students will model behavior adaptations by using events to trigger multiple behaviors, as well as using new properties like a sprite size and speed. In the third and final lesson, students learn how to edit animal behavior in code. Students will make a prediction about a fox's mystery behavior, use the edit button to debug different animal parameters like speed and direction. To complete the lesson, students will choose an environmental change scenario, use their own creative code to model a new and unique animal adaptation, and share their behaviors with their peers. A student might encounter a bug if their sprite costume selections are inconsistent. Have students double check that they've selected the correct costume to call the intended sprite. In this example, the coder wants the parrot sprite to dance when the program is run. However, the coder mistakenly assigned the eagle sprite to dance. Because there is no eagle in the play space, users will not be able to see any sprite dance. To debug, change the eagle sprite to the parrot sprite in the block. Often, students try to snap a green event block under the win run block, but this will not work. The event block stands on its own and any code added to it will run when the event is triggered. Encourage students to frequently test their code. They will need to press run, then use the play space to trigger the event. It can be easy for students on laptops to miss part of the instructions because the panels are small. Reminding them to expand the instruction panel down will allow students to see all of the steps. If a student gets confused after making several changes in their code, it is easy to reset the level and start blocks. Just click version history and then start over to reset just the level they're on. In every lesson plan, discussion questions are coupled with discussion goals. Check for understanding and promote student reflection by incorporating these discussion questions into your teaching. Review the concepts of adaptations, camouflage, evolution, and migration with your students. 
Use the provided slideshow to introduce these concepts and teach the vocabulary within the context of the lesson. This module is aligned with NGSS and the Computer Science Teachers Association standards in order to align to the concepts you already teach. To help you think of ways to integrate, ask yourself, how might this module support the content I'm already teaching? And should I use this module to introduce, reinforce, or extend student learning on this topic? Don't forget about the hide and show feature for each lesson. It's best practice to only show the lesson students are currently working on. If you do not hide the following lessons, students will be moved to the next lesson automatically. Before teaching the module, complete each coding level on your own. You can write your own code as an example for students. Make sure to review the lesson plans and additional resources. Code.org provides resources like slides, student handouts, and helpful hints to help you and your students get started. <laughs>